Hello friends, welcome to IS Point. Today we are going to discuss the articles of the Hindu. And the first article which we are going to see today is Limits of Exclusivism. This article is also all about a recent no confident motion which was passed in the North Province of, of uh, Sri Lanka. So before going into this issue, I'll just explain uh, the deep root cause of this issue because the author tries to bring in uh, uh, this not confidence motion is because of a uh, deep rooted conflict which is uh, already present in the Sri Lanka. So we'll look at the background first. So coming to the background first. Majorly the Sri Lankan peoples are classified into two types. One is the Sinhalese people and the other one is Tamil people. Sinhalese peoples are those people who follow Buddhist religion. They are in majority in Sri Lanka. They constitute nearly about 85% of the population. With respect to the Tamil people, Tamil people are majorly scattered in the northern province. I have given you in the map, the Elam map, the areas which is represented in red are the Tamil Elam, Tamil Elam is a place where Tamil peoples are present. So these Tamil people constitute nearly about 10% of the population. So, so the conflict is between the Tamil Elam people and the Sinhalese people which is which is present uh, even today in Sri Lanka. The conflict is because uh, of the powers and representation. We just need to know a few backgrounds. See these Tamil peoples are those people who are migrated uh, from Tamil Nadu to northern provinces of Sri Lanka during the British colonial era in search of employment. So as they came and settled down here, the British provided them with English education. They were um, provided with uh, good educational infrastructure and as they were provided with good educational infrastructure, they were better employed. While the Sinhalese people lack the basic infrastructure and they are less employed with compared to the Tamil Elam people and even in the administrative domain they were le less uh, representative. So what happened is uh, the Sinhalese people tried to curb the Tamil people in uh, every domain especially in the admin domain. So they started to resort the force. Even the Sri Lankan government to an extent uh, was favoring the Sinhalese people in curbing the, in curbing the Tamil people. So what happened then is uh, the Tamil people started a political organization called as LTTE. It was initially a non-violent political organization. It was started to showcase their aspirations, the Tamil people aspirations. So because of the increasing pressure uh, from the Sri Lankan government and the Sinhalese people, the LTT had to advocate uh, not, uh, violent form of uh, political organization which turned violent. Even uh, our assassination of a, uh, of a former Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi is associated with uh, this LTT organization. And as it turned violent, uh, there are many evidences of uh, human rights violation uh, in Sri Lanka by the Sri Lankan government. Uh, United Nations have appointed uh, several committees to probe into the uh, uh, human rights violation which is taking place in Sri Lanka and is also provided with many reports. So this is one area of conflict. And the other area of uh, conflict uh, with respect to India is uh, the Kachatibu Island. Kachatibu Island is a small island which was uh, presented uh, to uh, Sri Lanka by India in the year uh, 1974. Kachatibu Island is present in Park, Park Bay which separates India and Sri Lanka. So, so the problem here is the Kachatibu Island uh, the Indian fisherman feels that the Kachatibu Islands belongs to them and uh, they generally tend to go for fishing. So, these, uh, so this led to a cross-border migration where the Sri Lankan uh, militants use force against the uh, Indian fishermen. There are also many incidents of uh, uh, firing uh, against the Indian fishermen. So this is uh, one sort of uh, issue which is uh, going on between India and Sri Lanka. And the other major concern for India is uh, uh, China's presence in Sri Lanka. See, Sri Lanka has been uh, favoring uh, China with respect to India. Uh, you could see the evidences of uh, Hamban Tota port, uh, uh, Chinese funding into Hamban Tota port and Colombia port being a part of uh, maritime policy and Hamban Tota port being a part of a uh, string of pearls, uh, shows uh, China is slightly inclined uh, towards uh, Sorry, Sri Lanka is uh, sl slightly inclined towards uh, 
China with respect to India. So these are the basic uh, conflicts which is present uh, with respect to India and China. Now coming to the article. The article says that the recent non-confidence motion against the chief minister of the northern provinces of uh, Sri Lanka has, has uh, rather enlarged the differences between the Tamil people and the government. The article says that the non-confidence motion was moved because of two reasons. It is because uh, the two ministers were asked to resign on corruption charges as well as a few ministers were asked to go on compulsory leave. So the members who are asked to do these actions uh, belonged to the Tamil National Alliances. So they, they initiated a non-confidence motion against the government. The author in this article tries to say that uh, this conflict is because of uh, is because of the uh, Tamil culture and its uh, extreme politics. The author says that uh, Tamil people here are demanding for a separate state, and uh, they are asking for uh, a major constitutional amendment in such a way that uh, which is uh, not possible for any government uh, to pass on. While the article also says that uh, there has been no true substantive uh, transfer of powers have been. Uh, realized with respect to the Tamil people and the article also says that a recent trend in the Tamil political culture is also worrying uh, because the sort of uh, action which is used by the Tamil political people uh, uh, is leading to a uh, destructive path uh, because of their ideologies of uh, extremism of a separate state and uh, major constitutional uh, amendments act so the author tries to give out a solution to this the solution uh, to this issue could be uh, the author thinks is uh, the generational uh, political shift the author thinks that it is the change in the political ideology uh, with respect to the Tamil people can uh, bring in a consensus uh, between the Tamil people and the Sri Lankan government and uh, this will not happen uh, immediately it needs to pass on few generations uh, to have a change in their political ideologies that's it guys We'll move on to the next article. So coming to the next article, the farmer story. This article can be interpreted in two ways. First, the author uh, criticized the government for not taking any actions over the farmer issue. And then uh, the article brings in uh, the hardships which is faced by the farmers. And it also gives the solution. So while criticizing the government, the author says that uh, the farmer's issues are more uh, sympathetic in nature. While it blames government uh, that the reaction to their issues is very less. The author also says that uh, uh, media, in spite of covering the issues of farmer concern, the author feels that uh, the media lacks information, the media lacks some sort of uh, uh, knowledge as well as the coverage of uh, the farmer's issue is not holistic uh, which should have been represented. So while criticizing uh, the government and the media the author uh, also brings in uh, the hardships which is uh, faced by the farmers the author says that uh, the procurement price uh, has been reduced uh, by the government so procurement prices are those price which is announced by the government uh, in its uh, MSP MSP refers to the minimum support price so the MSP is the procurement price the, the procurement price has been uh, reduced uh, in so that uh, the farmers are facing the burden to even uh, reach their break-even point. The author also says that the recent uh, demonetization policy that uh, forces the farmers to go for a cashless system where uh, checks are paid to them in, in the form of payment uh, which is uh, not redeemable uh, upon the specific date. And the author also says that uh, there is a restriction on uh, export of the certain type of crops. So these restrictions uh, decreases the confidence uh, of the farmers the author also says that uh, the main problem of the farmers is uh, farm holding so the author feels the small farm holding uh, being a major impediment for the agriculture growth while giving in the problems and the uh, criticizing the government the author feels that the solution to these could be rather than specifically uh, uh, addressing the uh, issues of the farmers one has to look at their uh, concern holistically so holistic view of their problems uh, could make uh, a better policy uh, understanding and framing thank you guys we'll move on to the next article now coming on to the next article this article is all about a USA and North Korea relationship engaging Yongyan 
this article tries to bring in the relationship between USA and North Korea. It says that uh, the stringent policy of USA has not uh, made uh, North Korea to resort peace. You see, what happened recently is uh, two persons from uh, USA came to North Korea as a foreign tourist. Uh, they were uh, tourists are actually so they they happened to be uh, in prison in uh, North Korea and uh, they were sent out of the jail when they were in coma. So these sort of actions uh, in North Korea uh, bring brings in the tensions uh, in relationship between USA and North Korea. So what uh, the editorial says is North Korea has to be very much uh, specific in its uh, objectives whether it wants to resort to peace or not. And it also says that uh, USA's stringent policy has not uh, uh, made North Korea to seek for peacefulness so guys this important uh, this article is not very much important for the examination point of view we'll move on to the next article uh, a foregone conclusion this article is all about the presidential uh, uh, election see recently what happened is uh, bjp have nominated and uh, uh, presidential candidate who happens to be in Dalit. so this article tries to say is uh, article tries to say that uh, the recent uh, nomination uh, of a Dalit candidate by the BJP government is because many state governments would favor this candidate. Uh, it is because uh, no regional party in the state would be opposing a Dalit candidate as no one will be willing to. And the article also tries to say is it is quite surprising that Congress also uh, followed a, the same formula. So. While explaining uh, these sort of facts, the uh, the editorial tries to say that uh, with with a major majority in the uh, populous states like uh, Uttar Pradesh and in the center, it is clearly seen who is going to win the presidential elections. So that's it, guys. Thank you for today. We'll meet tomorrow. Thank you for watching.